rock bottom is actually a good place to be because when you're there, there's nowhere else to go but up. And that's really what happened for me. I was trying to get love from the outside. So I was looking for acknowledgement. I was looking for people to tell me I was beautiful. I was looking for people to tell me I was intelligent or whatever it was. And when people would tell me that, I wouldn't actually receive it. I would just, yeah, I just didn't really get it. So I always felt like I wasn't loved, which is sad because I was so loved. So any of this love from the outside is really like, yeah, it's great, it's lovely, it's, it's amazing. We want that too. We want to be seen, we want to be heard, we want to be felt, we want to be acknowledged. But ultimately it comes from this unlimited source that is free flowing at any time within all humans from within. And you can just tap into that at any point, any time of any day, at any point, and it's infinite and you can give it generously to everyone around you and you'll never run out, you'll only generate more. Like what a realization is that? At this point I became this big ball of love and everyone around me was like, what are you, I, whatever it is, I want a piece of that. Can you teach me how to do whatever you're doing? And I was like, uh, I've no idea what you mean. I had no idea what they were talking about. But basically what everyone was feeling and everyone was seeing was that the light had come back on inside of me. The light was back in my eyes. I was like radiating all of this love that was coming from the inside. Everyone was saying to me, can you teach me how to do that? And because I was doing all this nutrition stuff, people thought that if they learned about nutrition, then it would help them. And so at that point, I thought that's what it was too. So I started to coach people around nutrition. And it didn't take long before I realized, oh, none of this works if you don't have this deep connection with yourself, aka self-love, aka the whole message. So I went off to India and traveled around India, did some courses, got to know some more people who were very much on my vibe. Like as soon as you make this shift, everyone around you is a, who you're attracting is on that same frequency, is on that same vibe. So I was meeting all these amazing free people who were traveling the world and loving themselves from within and sharing the message and just all this freedom. And I was like, oh my God, I've cracked it. Like, this is what I've always wanted. Community, freedom, love. I was feeling all these things for the first time. And I was realizing I always had it, but I didn't realize that. And so I started to coach people on self-love. And when I started to do this, this is when the magic happened because I, I figured out how to teach people it, how to basically package it so I can share what I didn't have and become a role model for people who don't have a role model because I didn't. So I now mentor people who feel like I used to, but I help them because it took me so long to figure it all out. And I help them, give them more tools, more resources, cocoon them in love and show them how good it can be. And so my self-love mentoring was born. Um, so whilst I was in India, I had this realization, oh my God, I'm, I'm whole. I'm home and I'm whole and I don't need to change anything. And if anyone doesn't like me the way I am, that's fine because that's just a reflection of them. And only people who get me for who I am, how I look, the cellulite on my legs, the way I speak, the way I think, whatever, only people who get that are welcome around me. And anyone else can just bugger off. Like, I'm not interested, which was such a revelation because previously I was trying to be liked by everyone and trying to fit in with everyone and trying to do all these things and it was so draining. And so since then, I've just been following my intuition, I've been having mentors, I've been doing all the things like investing in myself and learning about online business and just really like staying true to my message and staying true to what I know works and what worked for me and changed my life from being this self-obsessed, looking for acknowledgement from the outside, searching constantly for something, grasping at straws, 
pushing people away, not ever feeling fulfilled, to feeling like pretty much constantly, like obviously we still have bad days, obviously I still have amnesia every now and again and forget who I am and how great this life is. But ultimately, I remembered who I am and I've never really forgotten it since. And so this is what I teach people now. And now I have a book and well, book's about to come out and I have all these retreats around the world and get to live in Bali and LA and lots of different countries. And that freedom, that like outside world is really a reflection of everything on the inside. 